fire spread through parts of Roldan's Ridge earlier this mm -hmm. year. A tower reminds us how many fires were spotted many years ago. Before there were cell phones, there were fire towers manned by forestry spotters. Calvin Steen has a look back at part of our firefighting history that is rapidly fading away. Jim Brown's job was on top of the world. The idea was to uh, spot a fire as soon as it broke out to get the fire crews dispatched so they could get there as quickly as possible. As seen from News Channel Line's Skycam, here on top of the world was an important job. Back in its heyday, the Montlake Tower was one of 28 fire towers in the Chattanooga district, all of them within sight of each other. That's tens and tens of thousands of acres of land, all being guarded by one set of eyes. And if you spotted something unusual, you would watch it. If a smoke that goes straight up just keeps doing that, you just keep watching it. If it starts to spread, you call somebody. Next tower over, call Ulawa or somebody. Back in the 1920s and 30s, spotting fires was easy from here. It was just simply calling out the window and saying it's down at so-and-so. We didn't do Latin long in those days. It was just, it's over behind Widow so-and-so's house. And we knew where that was. Into the 50s came azimuths. First, locate the smoke in the distance. You move this along until you line it up with it. And you say, okay, it's, let's say, 240 degrees. And the next tire would look over here and say, well, I've got 160 degrees. On a map, rangers would then long. draw a straight line between two fire towers. Where those lines crossed was where the fire was. And it's easy to pick up. It isn't rocket science. It's yeah, There's a little bit to learn about it. It's, it's uh, slightly complicated, but it can be quickly learned. Towers began disappearing in the 80s. People using cell phones put them out of business, leaving these abandoned. It's a piece of technology that time was passing. It will eventually pass, and then they'll just be monuments to history. On Montlake Mountain, Calvin Sneed, News Channel 9. So interesting stuff there. Uh, that history fading fast are the 28 original fire towers in southeast Tennessee. Only 10 remain. Five of those in our area are on the National Historic Lookout Registry.